Hey everyone, in this video I'll explain how you can set up team permissions and how you can use them to effectively manage access rights. First, go to the Teams page and you'll see the list of teams. Teams are the groups of users with the same access rights within your application in JetAdmin. You can set granular access rights for collections, pages and components. You can either edit the existing teams or add the new ones. Let's add a new one, give it a name and we can decide right away if we want to give this team full access. You can invite new users to the team by tapping in their email address and sending the invite. They'll receive the invitation via the email and will be added to the team once they approve the invitation. Next, you can set the higher level permissions and restrict the team's access to settings, billing, permission management and interface customization. In collection permissions, you can configure what level of access to different collections the team has. You can also create team properties that will enable different teams to see and interact only with a part of the data that's associated with a specific field value. As an example, say we have a simple admin tool to manage the sneakers collection and we want team A to see and edit only the new items and team B to see and edit only the used items. For that, we create a team property with a new value, which is matching one of the values from the hashtag field in the sneakers collection. Now we set the collection to be filtered by the value. For that, just go to Parameters tab and set the hashtag field to match the value from the team property that we've previously defined. If we log in under the Team A user account, we will see only the records with a hashtag value new. You can set multiple team properties so that each team can interact with a very specific part of your data.